Right here we have Warwick Davis. Just to be a quick interview. So Davis, um, tell us a little bit about Star Wars Celebration 7 here in Germany. I'm so excited about it. You know, it was such an honor for me to be in the Return of the Jedi movies. And uh, we, I've, I've interviewed uh, most of the cast members. You know, Anthony Daniels, uh, Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher. They're, they're all going to be part of this. We've been trying to hunt down Harrison Ford. Um, I don't understand why he's avoiding us. But, um, yeah, you know... It, it was a great honor because I was one of those actors that was a fan. I, I was a true fan, and it was just amazing meeting all these people that, like, idolized them when I was younger. And then I was part of the cast. I was I played an Ewok, as you all remember, Wicket. I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with him. He, you know, he was a... He was a, he was a, a jolly little fellow, you know, walked from side to side, you know, and... Uh, you know, my f most favorite memorable moment and, you know, the funniest thing I did was when I poked Carrie Fisher. Now, I mean, I know a lot of people will be jealous to hear that, but I was one person, a f true Star Wars fan, that actually poked Carrie Fisher. Um, you know, I really don't know what else to talk about. I'm just, I'm looking forward to really becoming maybe a part of these new movies that Disney has taken over. Luckily that, you know, we've carried on with, with the the Star Wars generations, and, you know, I just hope it keeps going, you know, I, I hope we, it goes into the new millennium, you know, even after my generation has disappeared, I really would love to see more Star Wars movies, and, um, you know, I've written some books, as you know, um, about little people and things like that, successful type people, and, uh, you know, this is, it, it, my life has been very adventurous, and, uh, you know, very exciting. And you remember when I was in the movie Willow? I'm pretty sure you, a lot of you remember me in the movie Willow. Of course, yes. Yeah, with uh, Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer, I got to work with Val Kilmer. Um, yeah, that was another movie that I did. I, I wanted to do more movies. And, uh, you know, I would probably end up playing an elf in like a Santa comedy, like a Christmas comedy, because people my size, we don't get... We don't get, like, uh, Sylvester Stallone or Arnold Schwarzenegger type roles, you know, because, you know, we just, we're not built for that, you know. But, I mean, I think that would be a good comedy skit is to have, uh, you know, little people action heroes. They should come out with that. That would be very, very, you know, it'd be something genius. Maybe I would do that. I, You know what? I just gave myself an idea. I think I'm going to produce and write a movie and a script that's going to have to do with a little people world and there's going to be little people superheroes little people action heroes um just everyday life you know cops and doctors and maybe it'll be a tv series i'm, I'm gonna look into this i'm i'm gonna find some people to help me out with this idea and i really think i can pull this off but um anyway it's it's been very um interesting to meet you right it's been a I, pleasure i, I, I really way. enjoyed being here you know it's always an honor to meet new people and be interviewed and you know, to let the world know what's going on these days with Star Wars and our personal lives, you know. So... Show your teeth, Warwick. Hey, it's always an odd winning smile. I always leave every interview with my mouth a mile wide. I should have played the Joker, but, you know, I'll talk to Mark Hamill. He can do my voice. Well, it's been a pleasure. Yes, yeah, it's been a, a really we good time. We look pleasure. forward to seeing you in Star Wars Episode Seven. I can't wait. I, I am so excited about this. I really am.